What's good, Joe? Welcome back to a brand new episode. We are coming back with Hirawaka. We are back with episode two of the dub. So yeah, man. Let's just jump right in, boys. So let's jump right in. Let's see what we got. All right. In three, two, one, go. Rocking the uh, Bakugo socks. I did uh, yesterday to show you guys. This is a superhuman society where about 80% of people are born with an uncanny ability known as a quirk. Not everyone uses their powers for good, though, which is why the world needed a new profession. The hero. My name is Izuku Midoriya, and I inherited a secret quirk called One for All from All Might. That's how I was enrolled in the hero course at UA. After a series of incidents that put us up against the worst of the worst, my incredible classmates and I got our provisional hero licenses. Meanwhile, the League of Villains, led by Toru Shigaraki, joined forces with the Metahuman Liberation Army. In that instant, their power increased astronomically. Shigaraki renamed this group the Paranormal Liberation Front. His closest allies are now lieutenants of different units within the organization. The Wayne hero, Hawks, was sent undercover by the Public Safety Hawks. Commission. Through careful recon, he uncovered some of the group's secrets. Using that information, the police called on heroes from around the country and began a huge operation to round up this new legion of villains and get them off the streets for good. First, the pros will be split into two groups. Team Endeavor will be in charge of securing Fudai Garaki at Jaku Hospital. Team Edshot will storm the Gunga Mountain Villa we believe to be the Paranormal Liberation Front's hideout. These two events will happen simultaneously. In addition, Hero Corps students will be deployed as logistical support for both teams. They'll assist with civilian evacuation and rescue if the encounters start to escalate. We expect substantial resistance from the villains, their supporters, and the number, but we cannot wait any longer. If we don't act now, they will prevail. The Doctor, his pets, Shigaraki, every villain must fall. Heroes. The idea is to take out the entire Paranormal Liberation Front in one sweep. <laughs> Here it comes! Let's go! Yeah. What's up, Doc? Whatever idea that was in the dub, whoever I have on Crunch Rules of the Hero Walker dub team, the idea was to say, What's up, Doc? Give that person a raise. Mighty Luke Chuck. See you, good doctor. Such a bad little key, bro. I'm very busy. I told you shit's about it. This will find out soon enough. Instruct any 
anybody who can safely walk on their own to head to the nearest official. Launcher! <sighs> Crying over a gnome down here. Is it the real Doraki or is it a copy? Not sure. But I'll know once I kick him. <laughs> Hell yeah, miracle! Your goal is to capture the doctor. I'll be right back, Well, I'd like to say we're on our way to help you, but we've got a few issues of our own. They might take a minute. <laughs> Probably carrying the most serious patients to another hospital somewhere close by. Attention, logistical support unit. Team Endeavor is currently fighting inside the building. So they ran into villains. The city sent a text message to locals ordering them to evacuate now. Start clearing your assigned areas immediately. Right. Okay, you guys hear that? Yeah. Let's go start our sweep. I can't believe I stopped back here helping a bunch of randos run away. My oh, man, Clifford! Is in Temple Bakugo. Stay the course. <laughs> hey, idiot! The city told you to run the hell away! Did you not check your phone or are you just stupid? Good thing I wore the box this <laughs> last day. We got this, guys! Let's go, Hyoria! Look as though no one were held inside of them. Another passage. Another this passage. is how they got below us. Those monsters upstairs didn't come from the morgue. But he sounds really familiar. Who voices him in the dub? Is he on the behind the voice making to this? Tortured souls. His quirk? Shield. He can form them all over Okay, he's voiced by someone by the name of Larry Sorkin. But I must defeat you to catch the man who defiled you. To catch the man who the fuck? Who was it? Who was it? Ah, Spinner. That's why he's talking about. Is this the real deal? Yes, yes, I am. Voting for violence. One way to be stopped. That would make it to retrieve Hood's corpse. Well, you should be in a far better position. Okay, yes. Yeah. My other little darlings are yep, spinner. very protested speeches. With all for one gone, it's difficult to produce more outlets. Uh -oh. It took good ten hours just to stabilize everything exactly. This batch could fight, but ideally they'd have half a day after waking to act. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
where you are. This one talks? You're right about that, beast! <laughs> I'm sorry you don't have more time to adjust, but I'm counting on you, high end. I love I love Garaki's chair. I wish I had a chair I could do. I wish I had a, a like a room or somewhere I could have a chair. Mrs. Courage, now that I'm warmed up, the fun can really begin. I'm a nerd. Engineer human corpses and gift the reanimated beings and quirks. They have no will of their own and can only act as their program. Based on their strength and the number of quirks they command, I split them into lower, middle, and upper tiers. In addition to quirks, upper tiers have more than ten times the muscle of an yeah. average person. But another group of Let's tiers, the high ends. In addition to having far higher specs than the others across the board, they're capable of advanced independent thinking. Their personalities reflect the human they were before they shuffled off the mortal coil. As such, all high ends were once villains who had a strong desire for carnage. Repairing raw materials and surgically transferring abilities is a chore, and the quirks take over three months to adhere. Without all for one's power, it's hard to mass produce these exquisite creatures. Currently, there are five in the testing phase, but just barely. That includes the one called woman. I'm sorry I left you behind, children, but you must protect us. We lost one when Johnny died, and doubled it with Mocha, which means Shigaraki and I lost our most trusted means of escape. Do I wake him while my creations do their best against the heroes? My masterpiece, Tomura Shigaraki. You're back there, aren't you? A villain? I wonder what's keeping you from running further. I can hear you clapping away in the back of the tunnel. How can she still move? I must stop the hero. I will kill her. I canceled out the impact of that landing with my legs. Go! The number five hero, Mirko. Her quirk, rabbit. She can do some rabbit can, but so much better. <laughs> but so much better. Sucker! Old man, five! She kills these just no sells this shit. Where'd she even get the, like, claw? Where'd she even get the throat? 
like crushing your head will stop you. Makes it easy to deal with this random villain with unknown weaknesses. I live every day as if I'm not going to see another one. That way, I'll have no regrets when I die. <laughs> but you zombies are out of luck. Mirko's not going down. <laughs> Update. The Garaki we captured turned out to be a fake. Mirko appears to be chasing the actual doctor. Endeavor remains on the ground floor fighting more Nomu. Yes, and the team has confirmed that multiple Ryans have joined the fray. Team Edshot is advancing now. They're about to proceed with their raid on the Gunga Bella. <laughs> Cementos with that sad ass. <laughs> it's almost time. Stand up, Ray Juice. Oh, I thought the rear guard's job is to catch any bad guys who slip past the hero down front. It would basically be like an insult to the bros if it looked like he expected them to miss the villain. Aw, oh, you're fucked. It's beginning now. Oh, jeez, thanks for the warning! Okay, you and me. Look alive! An unprecedented number of heroes have gathered for this. Nevertheless, you should all stay on high alert. Think of it this way. We had to recruit this many pros because the enemy is that dangerous. So the young is probably fine. So maybe come nine is too. <laughs> you can hear the hearing shipper squealing from here, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> this is so scary. Consented to this job before the mission began. Oh yeah, of course. How was I supposed to say no when everybody was there watching me? I didn't want them to see what a coward I could be sometimes. I'm sorry, but we do need your help. Just tell yourself that we use this adult surgery. No, it's so much worse if I think the pros can't handle this without me. <laughs> <laughs> you scared too? During the school festival, I discovered the real me while we played guitar together. You are an incredible person. How does being a guitar god help? <laughs> <Not the warrior. laughs> guitar god. Open up! An enemy attack. Perfect. This is all your fault, Bubai Gawara. Where'd you go? Damn it! This is terrible timing. The whole organization is in trouble. We gotta get you in front of Shigaraki so he knows you're legit. Seriously, kind of weird I haven't gotten to talk to him. That's because he's off getting stronger. He'll be in the mountains near Kyoto for four months. Whoops, that's a secret. No, I'm sure that all hair spy heard me. Yeah, big free. After that, you may see it. Yeah, I'm big free. Sure <laughs> Yo, somebody get Seth Skeptic some eye drops. This man desperately needs them. No, I'm not to blame. The fool is. The heroes are coming! Right on time! Concrete's moving like it's a boy! What's happening? Our meeting is cancelled! Regiments assembled! They're attacking head on! Violent attack to the front! Brown unit, join them! Target, stay put for now! They got us scared, didn't they, Mr. Skeptic? Oh my god! Let's go light him up. Man, they even bro, he got to like the most badass dub voice too. Where was voice by a black dude? The guy sounds like a black guy. <laughs> Which is how deep his voice is. And he sounds kind of familiar. I don't I, I feel like I've heard his voice somewhere. I don't know. I'll have to check maybe if they if they mention it, if they want to mention anything on Twitter. Look! This guy that one villain gets away. They'll give their lives to bring down society. If we miss a single person, the world is in danger. We attack to protect. Charge! Try not to get overwhelmed, kid. Uh, sure thing, Miss Midnight. If protecting the world is hard for you to gear up for, here's a trick you can use. Just imagine you're really protecting whatever is most dear to your heart. <laughs> that would be... This was such a cool camera move, man. I know you can 
to do this. Church boys. So yeah, so yeah, they guess they changed this hero name on the dub from Charge Zuma to Charge Bolt. Maybe they mean the same thing, but that's just how it's written in the Japanese. Come on, Kaminari. This happened because we were waiting for Shigaraki. Bro, he sounds so familiar. Oh, that shit's gonna bug me to my check. Pretends. Liberation and revolution! The vice commander's doing his thing! Don't get caught in the attack! Your numbers are All right, coming on! My work! My ample vote reigns supreme! A power that electrifies any who stand in the way of my will! I preach attack! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my I god, you say run, bro. It's been so long since we've heard you say run actually used in the show. Day, you think? <laughs> nah, I got it's had to have been at least since like season three or something. Way it's been way too long since we've heard you say run. Passionate about it. Maybe even maybe even earlier, maybe even season two. You were calm. You would do anything. For the bloodlines! Put your wounds in the sky! The attack is being absorbed? Ah, uh, yeah! That's one scary leader rendered powerless! <laughs> he did it. Good boy. It's so cool that that, that episode's awesome. It, interestingly, if you guys didn't know, um, Taiti Kugo's favorite hero Waka character is Kaminaru. And this episode aired two days before the Blood War anime started airing there. Quite the coincidence, I dare say. Wait, which studios worked on this episode? Hold on, I'm going to have to back it up. I'm going to have to back that up. I just noticed that. Here's the preview. The surprise attack to capture every last villain at the Ganga Villa is underway. Thanks to the efforts of the heroes, the Paranormal Liberation Front is at a severe disadvantage. Unfortunately, twice has the Hawks. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that with the dub cast. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. You can do it, pros. Go beyond. One's justice. Ripping off the titles of the video games. All right, all right. This episode is amazing. The dub work was phenomenal. Oh my god, they gave that dude like the coolest dub voice too, bro. Like you guys remember my review? I said like, bro, this is like the most badass character designed in all pure walk and his voice, bro. Yo, <laughs> Crunchyroll, y'all did good. Like I said, I'm about to check this dude's. I'm gonna like search this dude on like Twitter or something to see if if, it, if like the BA has like announced his uh, announced. That he's playing because his voice sounds super familiar, man. His voice sounds familiar. Okay, let me check the credits again because I swear to God I saw which studio in there. Uh, yeah, I see. Yeah, which studios is in here? Uh, maybe they maybe they had a handful of their animators like work on this episode. I guess I don't know. Interesting. Anyway, anyway, guys, this video off. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Links in the description box below. 
And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.